everyone, it's Sierra, and this video is going to be a day in the life as a stay-at-home mom to a six-month-old, and it's actually going to be a sick day at home because my baby has his first cold. <music> sleeping well because he's been so congested and I think when he's like laying flat he just like can't breathe very well so he's actually doing a lot better the congestion started in his nose um, but now it's kind of drained into like his throat and chest so now he has a little bit of a cough and it's just so sad I'll share uh, like the one thing I've been doing it's a detox bath that I think has actually like helped him quite a bit he's sitting right here playing so if you hear some little noises that's him. This is the first time that he's ever been sick and I've been dreading when this happens because it is seriously just so sad when there's not really like that much you can do for them. Whenever we try to suck out his nose with like the Frida baby nose sucker thing, he just screams bloody murder. He used to not mind it. He actually kind of liked it, but now he just will not tolerate us trying to suction out his nose. And so that was like the saddest thing because <laughs> the other night we had to do it so that he could breathe in his sleep. And he was crying like the most he's ever cried. But I've been diffusing Thieves Essential Oil all over our house. And I think that's helping a little bit too. Like especially at night. And I also have a humidifier that I think is helping also. I am just praying that this is the end of it. And it doesn't turn into like an ear infection or anything worse than just like the little cough he has now. For my morning skincare, I just used my Dime products. I used the Super Skin Toner, and then I put on the Hyper Glow Serum, Luminosity Eye Serum, and the Dewy Day Cream. So if you wanna try any of these products, I'll have my link below with my discount code. I believe you can get, it's either 15 or 20% off, but it kind of changes all the time depending on uh, what kind of sales they have going on. But I'll have that in the description box if you want to check any of that out. I've been using it for several months now and I really love it. I actually just did a restock on some of their products. They're, they haven't come in yet, but I got the Gentle Jelly Cleanser and also like a body exfoliator and i feel like i got something else that i can't remember also my postpartum hair loss is growing back and it's just like sticking straight up so i really am tempted to get my hair chopped but i have cut it probably two times uh, like pretty short like shoulder length and I always like it at first and then after a couple weeks I just like don't feel like myself because I pretty much always have had long hair but I totally understand why moms do the mom chop because like Liam is always pulling my hair and it hurts so bad it's always in the way like if I'm putting him in his crib or something it's like my hair gets in his face and tickles him and wakes him up and so I'm trying to find like new ways to just wear it up but yeah I am debating getting a haircut actually Liam also <laughs> needs a haircut which he's only six months old but his hair is getting <laughs> so long i can't decide if i want to hold out a little bit longer or get a cut it i like it at the length it is like it looks really cute but it is like getting in his eyes and it doesn't seem to bother him but i also got some hair it's like a plant-based i wouldn't call it gel but it's like a clear kind of like a gel but it, it doesn't dry like crunchy but 
um, I'm able to like spray his hair wet and then style it with that and it holds up for a little while it doesn't last like all day it ends up falling in his face again and that's also gonna hold us over for a while until we get his first haircut my mom sent me a picture of when I got my first haircut because I also had crazy hair when I was born just like <laughs> Liam and I think I was probably like at least six months old when I got my first haircut, maybe a little bit older because I was born in December and the picture was in the summertime and it was outside at um, the condos where like my mom and dad, they lived there when they like first got married and they actually live there again now. It's um, at, at a lake and my grandma actually did my first haircut because she is a hairstylist and so i just thought how cute would it be if we also had her cut liam's hair like in the same place i just think that would be like the cutest thing ever like our first haircuts kind of like being the same <laughs> so i know it's like not that deep it's just a haircut but i just think it would be cute so i think maybe um i don't know maybe the next time we go up there i'll see if my grandma can come and give him a little trim such like heavy hair um but we're gonna give it another try today and i'm trying to decide what i'm gonna get dressed in because i really want to go to the gym because i can't even believe i'm saying this but i'm actually starting to see some progress from i don't know if it's like the workouts i've been doing i haven't like really been doing anything that crazy um, so it might just be that I'm like eating a little bit better. Also, there has been a change in my breastfeeding, pumping, uh, formula feeding journey. So I'll give you an update on that in a little bit here. Another thing that I've been doing that I swear is helping and I don't, I don't know why, but I've been doing uh, dry brushing. So every, <laughs> every time before I shower, I dry brush my body and you can like look up on Pinterest like how to do it but I kind of think that this just helps like get everything moving and I'm not as like swollen anymore but yeah I didn't even really like notice that I was like losing weight or just like slimming down but I went to put on a pair of jeans that I had like before I even got pregnant and they were always like a little bit baggy and then I was able to like wear them through my pregnancy and then postpartum I was like oh I'll definitely be able to fit into these because they were like baggy on me before and they like did not fit at all and I was like oh my gosh <laughs> you think that's funny that I didn't fit in my jeans anymore um but I went to put them on the other day and they actually fit and I was like, oh my gosh, things are happening. So um, it's giving me this like motivation to keep like going to the gym and being healthy because like I'm starting to see some changes. But um, anyway, yeah, I kind of feel like dry brushing has helped too. It helps your lymphatic system just kind of like drain out all of the toxins that are like stagnant in your body. So anyway, I'm 
I'm gonna keep up with this. But anyway, all that to say, I don't think we are actually going to make it to the gym today because I just wanna make sure <laughs> that Liam takes really good naps today because that's like one of the only things I can do to help him get over this cold because I can't really give him medicine or anything. And it's also like pretty nasty outside. So I think we'll probably end up just staying home today just so I can get him back to feeling good. Um, but I'm just gonna throw on some clothes now. All right, here's my outfit for a sick day at home. I have these Target, honestly, I think they're like pajama pants. I bought these um, to wear like home after I gave birth and I wear them all the time. They're so comfy and soft. Um, a nursing tank and this Amazon cardigan. So nothing fancy, but like I said, we're just staying home. Also, all of my plants are dying. Not all of them, like this one's actually doing pretty good but I do need to replace a couple of dead plants in our house now that it's springtime. All right so while I'm getting his bottle ready I will give you a little um, feeding update. So if you're not familiar with my channel I have a whole video or I might actually have two videos on my channel about like our breastfeeding journey because my baby had a lip tie and a tongue tie and so it was like really not easy. We made it work. Um, he was primarily getting breast milk but I was also combo feeding um, just because of my supply. I was pumping a lot. Um, so yeah, he was mostly getting pumped breast milk. I would comfort nurse and then he would get like one to two bottles of formula a day. And once he turned six months, I just decided I was not going to pump anymore. Um, I was planning on going longer than that, but he was just going through a phase where he did not want to take a bottle and he just wanted to nurse. So when I was pumping, it was like super frustrating because I would take the time to pump and then he wouldn't even take it from the bottle and he would want to nurse, but there was like nothing in there because I had just pumped and then the milk that I pumped would go to waste and I was like, okay, I'm not even gonna pump anymore. I'm just gonna nurse on demand and I'll do his feedings uh, mostly like formula. So we've been using the Kendamil goat formula. So far it's been working. I know some moms get like super heartbroken when they're done breastfeeding and I don't know if it's just because like I'm not really done like I'm still nursing I'm just not pumping but I like don't feel that sad which I'm, I'm obviously happy about but I was kind of nervous that I would like feel sad about it maybe I will when I'm like officially done nursing but right now this is actually working out really well I'm glad I made it to six months I think that it helped him stay healthy it kind of makes me wonder like now that he has his first little sickness and I'm like not giving him as much breast milk it makes me kind of wonder if if the breast milk really was like helping him stay healthy I mean I really hope that he continues to stay healthy even with getting more formula but I just feel so much better like I was telling my husband I'm starting to finally feel a little bit more like myself and I think it's because I'm just not tied to pumping all day long and I'm feeling healthier like I don't know I I thought that you would lose weight more easily by breastfeeding but for me it was the opposite because I was just having to eat so much to keep up my supply and I also think like stopping breastfeeding um is helping me like lose some of the weight postpartum which obviously giving my baby breast milk is more important to me than my weight so um I wouldn't like stop for that reason but it is like a little perk that I've noticed in the last couple weeks since I've stopped so I'm gonna see if I can get him to take this bottle and then we have been incorporating more solid food like it's mostly in the form of purees but I have some sweet potatoes so I might try to cook up some sweet potatoes for him to eat in a little bit after he has this bottle. Mm -hmm.
would show you um, the hair stuff that we use. It's on Amazon, I'll link it below, but this is like the consistency of it. So um, if you wanna try that for your baby, uh, it'll be linked below. Okay, I just got him down for his second nap. So before I put him down, I was on the phone with Samsung for like an hour because I got a frame TV for Christmas. Kevin got it for me. And whenever we set it up, there was like a black bar on the screen. And you can only tell sometimes, but I never have like pretty art up because like when you're watching tv it's not as noticeable but when the art is on it you can see like this darker line on the screen so we've just needed to um call and get that fixed and motivation struck <laughs> and i decided to act on it so i just called them and unfortunately they couldn't like do it over the phone so somebody has to come and fix it which is such a bummer but I'm glad I at least got that process started. And then I put him down for his nap and I wanted to let you know, if you don't already know, about this playlist. It is seriously magic at getting your baby to fall asleep. It is a Taylor Swift playlist, so hopefully you are a Swifty, but it's called the Taylor Swift Method by Hey Sleepy Baby. If you search that on Spotify, it has worked every single time. So. If I'm just rocking him and he's like about to fall asleep on his own, I won't use it. But if he's getting like kind of fussy and sometimes he'll like actually like bite me when he's so tired, like flail his arms and it, he hits me and everything. I mean, he's not like trying to hit me, but you know, it's a little aggressive flailing. Um, if I put this playlist on, he like instantly calms down and falls asleep by like the third song it's amazing so we had to use some of this and it got him down and then i decided just to like put him in his crib because i was like you know planning on holding him for all of his naps so that he could like be at an angle and like drain um all this congestion but i was like i really just want to see if he'll sleep on his own in the crib so i can eat some lunch and try to get like a little bit of work done before he wakes up so it doesn't look super appetizing, but last night I made this one pan lasagna. It's another Rock Your Body recipe, which I think in my last video, I made one of her recipes. I've made probably three of her recipes now, and I love all of them. I know she's coming out with a cookbook. It's available for pre-order, and it comes out later this month, and I told Kevin I kind of want to get it because so far I like love all of her recipes, and especially the one pan ones because it's so easy to clean up. But yeah, that's what I had for dinner last night. I just heated it back up on the stove, and I'm going to have some of that for lunch and try to get some computer work done while he's napping. All I did was cut up two sweet potatoes that were pretty small. I used my steamer basket in my Our Place Always pan um, and I just steamed those. And once you can like poke them with a fork, then you just put them in a blender cup with some of the water that you use to steam whatever you're steaming. Um, because from what I read, when you either boil or steam vegetables, like some of the nutrients, kind of like i don't know get steamed out into that water so if you use that water to like make it thinner uh it puts that nutrients like back into the puree so anyway 
Um, then I have these little baby food jars that are glass that I got from Amazon and they come with these little silicone lids. So this should be enough for two, which he, he won't eat all of this, but um, that'll be good for tonight. And then tomorrow, voila. So I'll leave one out for tonight and then I'll put this one in the fridge for tomorrow. Then I'll just like warm this up for him to try tomorrow. And then for our dinner right now, I'm baking some potatoes because we're gonna have baked potatoes with some of this broccoli that I chopped up. And then I also have this like chicken sausage. So once the potatoes have been cooking a little bit longer, I'm gonna put the broccoli on the baking sheet and cook that. And then I'll add the chicken sausage and that's gonna be our dinner for tonight. Kind of boring, but what I had planned. Kevin just got home from work so he's hanging out with Liam so I could get this finished up but I'm gonna clean up the kitchen really quick. I'll give Liam his baby food and then either we'll eat we'll probably eat dinner and then I'll give him his bath or I might give him his bath before we eat dinner depending on how these potatoes are coming along but I am gonna do that like detox bath tonight for his cold because he's still coughing quite a bit today so once we get to that time i'll show you how i make that detox bath all right my dinner is taking a lot longer to cook than i thought it would so that's a bummer but i'm just gonna pour some of this kombucha in this wine glass and also liam is going crazy i think he's tired so i hope i can still get him his bath i just feel like this night is turning out to be a little chaotic i always forget how long baked potatoes take to cook so i ended up wrapping them in aluminum foil and hopefully that makes them cook a little faster and i just have him in his swing because i'm not quite ready to put him down i mean i'm definitely not ready to put him down i'm just trying to decide if i want to let him take a little nap and then do a later bedtime but i feel like he already slept for a lot today like nap wise and so I don't want him to have too much nap time and then not sleep good tonight it's a constant struggle okay so we're getting Liam's bath ready and this is what I do for the detox bath so we're gonna do a third oh shoot oh no <laughs> i saw half and i was like wait this is a half cup you're gonna use a third cup of epsom salt a third cup of hydrogen peroxide and a third cup of baking soda and then i did 10 drops of thieves essential oil so I will say I was a little worried about this because Thieves is a very spicy oil so I wasn't sure if it was gonna like irritate his skin at all but it was totally fine he didn't have any reaction and he wasn't acting like it was bothering him at all and I mean I do it in this big uh, sink of water so that's what I'm gonna do and then I noticed he started pulling at his ear so I'm just like really hoping that he's not getting like fluid stuck behind his ear but just in case i'm gonna take tea tree essential oil and i'm just gonna put like a like a drop or two on my finger and kind of like rub it around his ear um so hopefully that'll help and i do have a link with young living so if you want to like buy any of these oils i will have them linked in the description below from what i know about essential oils like young living is a really reputable company and sometimes like essential oils from grocery stores and stuff can have um like other fillers and stuff in them these do not and they like they have their own farms you can go to their farms like they're really really safe so yeah those are the only ones that i feel comfortable like personally using on my skin but especially using on my baby and you just want to be really really cautious especially with a baby um you can always like dilute it with coconut oil um they even do have oils like specifically for kids and babies that are like pre-diluted we have some of those too but uh for what he needs right now this is what i'm gonna do i wish i had lavender to put like around his ear too but i'm all out of that one so we're just gonna do tea tree and yeah just say some prayers that he starts to feel better and i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here so 
give it a thumbs up if you liked it make sure to subscribe if you want to see more motherhood videos but i'll be back with another one very soon bye